Um, so I first find out, found out about the Kent Heritage Trees project through attending a woodland walk and I started talking to one of the education officers here and they asked if I wanted to be a volunteer education officer and it all kind of started from there. I started coming every week um, that I could. I really enjoyed going into schools, getting children excited um, about wildlife. Um, pond dipping is great, it's probably my most favourite activity and going into schools and sorting out wildlife ponds for them. Been out with the TCV for a few years now. My favourite thing is meeting other people and coming out and seeing the beautiful flowers and all the, the wild animals. We've been going to marvellous places like Rochester and uh, Y, and it's been great. Um, I first got involved with the Kent Heritage Trees Project uh, whilst I was at uni uh, studying environmental social science. So I was looking for something to learn more skills about the environment and this was a good way to gain extra experience. I personally feel like I've learnt quite a lot from being involved with the project, uh, particularly just confidence and just getting out there into the outside and just making a good difference in the community, uh, getting involved with all sorts of people that I would have never got involved with before and learning new skills that can help me in the future. I recently finished university course quite a distance away in Hampshire. I was studying Geography of Environmental Studies, uh, so naturally when I moved here I started looking for work, work experience, anything that I can apply what I've learnt and grow what I've learnt. I'm a keen cyclist as well and I cycled up here for the CAF, which is part of the centre. I picked up a few leaflets, went on the website and uh, thought that I should get involved because it was a natural progression from my previous course. Having only been here for a short period of time and the staff being so encouraging, I am starting my own uh, cycle scheme which encourages people to come out into the local environment and it will obviously bring people to the centre and uh, get them involved with the volunteering, the community gardens and everything else that happens here. Hi, I'm Joel. Um, I'm doing work experience at the TCV. I have done it two years ago when I was work, um, in school and I've found out this is what I want to do in the future and as a career and coming here has helped me get into Hadlow College and start my level 3 diploma in countryside management. Um, TCV has helped me with a lot and I just enjoy the being outside and helping out and meeting new people. Um, I'm really glad I've been involved with the project, particularly with the tree planting. It's just good knowing that I've planted things that in hundreds of years' time are going to be there in the future um, for everyone else to look on and see. So it's that making a real difference in the local community that has really inspired me. Uh, we've been coppicing, which is an ancient form of uh, like woodland management. Uh, to encourage new ecosystems, biodiversity. It, it involves a lot of teamwork, uh, so you're working with people on a kind of quite close trust scale. Saws, trees falling down, fires. So now I know that you have to cut the, uh, like cut the tree at an angle so the mould doesn't get underneath the bark and the different um, types of trees and uh, other wildlife that we're trying to encourage. My name's Andrea Taylor-Harris, I'm the Academy Business Manager at Furley Park Primary Academy. Uh, we are currently undergoing a project with the Conservation Volunteers as part of the Singleton Environmental Centre. Uh, we contacted them initially because we had a, a strategy plan um, put in place by KCC as part of our expansion project at the school to make the garden a, a nicer place for the children and to clear the pond area and to put in a hibernaculum, bat boxes, bird boxes etc. 
Um, when we originally put the plan in place, um, I think it was um, over sort of five months period. The children are also involved in the projects. Um, the conservation volunteers have set up a nice plan for us in line with what we've been asked to do via KCC in the strategy plan, um, uh, which includes the children helping build the hibernaculum, um, designing a bug, a bug wall, getting involved with building that as well, building the bird boxes and the bat boxes. So they, they, they're part of the project and it's fantastic. I'd like to think that uh, my involvement with the project has helped uh, contribute to local heritage, particularly with Wild Crew we go out and we get to know local areas and we build things such as dead hedges um, which really make a difference in changing areas for the better. We were approached by the conservation volunteers and asked if we would like a couple of trees planted here and we actually chose walnuts. We're also looking at the landscaping because it's now become part of the uh, Great Lines Heritage Park. So planting trees is essential within the park area. I've always enjoyed walking and uh, finding places and I was wandering this way and suddenly came upon the Environment Centre. And so I wandered across the lovely open grass and the trees and in the building I found some lovely, lovely people who were organising everything and they made me so welcome. So Buggin' About was set up here at the Singleton Environment Centre about two and a half years ago to try and get young children involved in nature at an early age. So we, we run a lot of different activities. Each week there is a walk, we try to get to the woodlands, we do mini beast hunts, we have a mud kitchen, we do planting, digging, we like getting mucky. Um, so it's been a great group, um, we've had a wonderful amount of people, new people and regulars coming each week um, to enjoy all of the activities that we have. Lots of people have made great friends um, and we love to see the same faces coming again and again each week. We've been coming to Buggin' About for about a year now and as a childminder I bring all the different, all my little charges and it's been great them learning about nature and it's really hands-on experience and they've taken that back home to their families and got their own families and their local communities involved and they often come up on weekends to see where we visit because they have such fun. I've really enjoyed all of the projects, but probably my most favourite thing is running Wild on Wednesdays through last year of the summer half term. So every week we had children from the community coming into the centre um, and learning about Pondsai and Pondiffin and getting to do really exciting crafts. I think it was a great way to get the community together and get them involved with outdoors and getting them out and about. 